Hi, this is Scott Arno with this week's security tip. Today we're going to talk about Trojans, and we don't mean ancient Greeks in this case. Trojans refer to malware which is hidden inside something else which appears to be innocuous. They can hide inside of nearly any type of file. This can include inside an infected website, inside a software download, email attachments, mobile apps, etc. So what can a Trojan do? They can record your keystrokes. They can spy on you with your own computer's camera and microphone and even steal your personal and business data. They often install a back door which will allow cyber criminals to take control of your computer remotely and yank it into what's called a botnet, which is where your computer is remotely controlled with other ones and used to send spam or attack other websites, things like that. You really don't want to be in one of those. Many Trojans will also make it a point to elude or disable antivirus software, making them that much harder to find and remove. And Trojans can also affect mobile devices, especially if you're going through a third-party app store download, meaning if you're downloading uh, something on your, your Android tablet or phone, you're doing it from something other than the Google Play Store, the risk of running into a Trojan or other types of malware jumps up quite a bit. So what can you do to protect yourself from these things? Obviously, stick to official app stores when downloading and dealing with mobile devices. Aside from that, make sure that the software you're using, generally speaking, is up to date. Auto-update capabilities are available in many cases. I would always recommend setting those on if you can. You can also have individual programs which will update third-party programs running on your computer, meaning if you have a Windows-based computer, the non-Microsoft stuff, it will automatically update in the background. The same thing for the, um, uh, an Apple computer, the non-Mac stuff running, it will automatically update that. The Windows-based software, there are a few of those. Uh, two I think of in particular, one is called Secunia Software Inspector, uh, Personal Software Inspector, sorry. Secunia is S-E-C-U-N-I-A. There's also uh, another one called File Hippo, Roughly the same sort of thing. I think Secunia does it on an automatic basis. File Hippo lets you know so you can automatically download it when you want to. Slightly different. And if you have a Mac, what you can use is something called AppFresh, which has a free version, but there's also a charged version. Just depends on what level of support you want. Also, when dealing with these Trojans, think before you click. If you get that download from someone you don't know, uh, I wouldn't go there. So, I mean, that you don't know who it's coming from. You don't know what sort of trouble it could lead to. Also, when you're browsing the web, make sure you're using a non-administrative account, basically a guest account. Because an administrative account has full access to your computer, meaning it can download programs, delete them, edit them, etc. And if you are hit with a Trojan that attacks the account you're browsing the web with, the more limited the account, the more limited the potential damage. It's a good thing. Also, if you're dealing with a mobile device, don't jailbreak or root it. That means overriding the manufacturer settings, including the security settings. Jailbreak refers to it. Uh, with an Apple device, rooting refers to it with an Android-based device. While it does give extra capabilities, it makes the devices much, much less secure. Either way, I hope this was helpful, and if you have any other questions relating to Trojans or other areas of computer security, please stop by thesecurityadvocate.com. Thank you so much, and have a great week.